Now to the future of the Supreme Court's Roe v. Wade decision. This weekend saw widespread demonstrations over the issue of abortion rights. And this week, the Senate will vote on legislation aimed at protecting those rights. Here in New York, the Attorney General will announce her plan today. CBS 2's John Diaz joins us live from the AG's office in Lower Manhattan with more. John? Chris and Natalie, good morning to both of you. And that announcement is expected to come later on this morning. But until then, though, her office is remaining extremely quiet, tight lipped about the specifics behind that announcement. But though, at this hour, we can tell you that it, w it will be about protecting access to abortions. A weekend of outrage across the U.S. The mighty, mighty with rallies in support of abortion rights. After a leaked draft, majority opinion indicated the Supreme Court may end the constitutional right. Protesters even made their way to the homes of Justice Brett Kavanaugh and Chief Justice John Roberts. Such a high stakes situation that if, you know, it's a little bit noisy in the neighborhood, um, you know, in comparison to what women in this country are facing, like it's really not a big deal. Back in New York at St. Patrick's Cathedral, the fear of demonstrations led to a heightened police presence. Yesterday, Democratic leaders said the battle on Capitol Hill isn't over. Here we are on Mother's Day, a week where the court has slapped women in the face in terms of disrespect yeah. for their uh, judgment about the size and timing of their family. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer saying on Twitter, the Supreme Court's reported decision is an abomination. He outlined a vote planned in Congress this week aimed at protecting abortion rights. It is not expected to pass, but he wants Americans to know where lawmakers stand ahead of the midterm election. The abortion debate will not go away in the country. It will be decided by the people, not a handful of judges. I would, uh, would only support legislation in South Carolina that had, had exceptions for rape and incest and life of the mother. But Republican leadership is looking a step further. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell told USA Today a national abortion ban is not out of the question. And that's something local lawmakers are already sounding the alarm on. If Republicans get control of the House and the Senate and the White House, which certainly could happen in the next three years, they are absolutely going to pass a national ban on abortion. When women make that decision to have a baby, it is a joyful decision that they are making. Yeah. But if you take away that right and, and require forced pregnancies, you are literally undermining their basic civil rights. A CBS News poll that came out yesterday shows that roughly 64% of Americans do believe that the Supreme Court should keep Roe v. Wade in place. We're live this morning from Lower Manhattan. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. All right, John, thank you. And legal experts fear if the landmark ruling is overturned, other freedoms relating to marriage and sexuality could be in limbo. If they're going to say a right that women have enjoyed for almost 50 years is not deeply rooted in our, in our nation's history. Marriage equality is certainly at risk, and I also believe interracial marriage is at risk because that's only been a fundamental right for six more years than the right to an abortion. Stay with CBS2 for continuing coverage of the Roe v. Wade fight. We will have the latest updates posted on CBSNewYork.com and streaming on CBS News New York.